Hey, everybody. I am here today with Mary Mack, a comedian who we cannot wait to have here at Thrasher Opera House on January 28th. Mary, how are you? Yay! <laughs> I'm, I feel like I'm a little snowed in and just excited to hear from your voice that I might be going somewhere. <laughs> you definitely will be coming somewhere. You'll be in Green Lake at the Thrasher yeah. Opera House on January 28th. Um, yeah. It's your first time here, so we're, we're just going to introduce people to you, although lots of people probably know you because like this little thing happened the other day you were on the tonight show no yeah. Big deal. <laughs> yeah yeah that was fun I you know what they might know me or they might just be thinking why can't we get rid of her because a lot of people a lot of people like leave Wisconsin and go leave leave the Midwest and go do I can't leave I just love it here so I can't leave I work remote. I work for LA people, but I make them do it either out of Wisconsin or Minnesota. <laughs> Good for you. That's everybody yeah. should visit here. It's a wonderful place. Well, yeah. and so like if all of you couldn't tell, Mary um channels all the hilarity that comes with the Midwest, like the best of the Midwest, which I love, appreciate, and can relate to a lot of it, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's your original town you're from, Rachel? I'm from Rosendale. Rosendale. I've driven through Rose off off a of P. Is um, it, or no, I'm thinking uh, I'm thinking between Toma and Oshkosh, but that's wrong, isn't it? Well, it's it's a little close. We're it, Rosendale's between like Fond du Lac and Ripon or Oshkosh and Wapan. Okay, no, through, it's down it's down there cuz I went to school in Oshkosh. So I've yeah. driven through down there. I thought well, I went really know. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. I I'm I, I want your job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do have a good job, but it sounds like you have an awesome job, too. You just toured in Colorado. You were just on the yeah. Tonight Show. You've been on Conan. You've done all sorts of things. Um, Another cool thing that you do is you work with Drink Wisconsinably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Talk about drink jobs. That I sounds know. awesome. <laughs> I know. I get paid to drink Bloody Marys. And um, just talk to cool people who run awesome things like the Snowmobile Hall of Fame, yeah. the um, the accord, the biggest accordion museum in the world, the all in Wisconsin. <laughs> yeah, no, a lot of people they don't even know about this stuff in Wisconsin, and we have so much, so many fun things. The the I think it's the biggest bobblehead collection down in Milwaukee. <laughs> I don't know. We need a museum to go to over in near Green Lake, something. Well, that's know. my question. Have you ever been to Green Lake before? You know, I've never stayed in Green Lake proper. Okay. I've never stayed in Green Lake <laughs> improper. <laughs> well, you can do both here. <laughs> um, yeah, we're about, about 1,000 people or 900 or something like that. So there's there's not much to it, but but there is there's a lot of nature there's yeah. good ice fishing which I think you're a fan of ice fishing yeah yeah um, but I lately I've just been standing in my driveway and looking down at the ground and pretending I'm ice fishing <laughs> <laughs> well we can we'll see if the if the lake is frozen because obviously it's green lake there is a lake and yeah. um, if it's frozen we can we can see about getting you out there oh hey and if you I know if you want to yeah. bring drink Wisconsinably here, we wouldn't be mad about it. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, if there is somebody I could pay to take, because I'm too lazy to start up the auger, buy a snowmobile. Um, I don't know snowmobile maintenance anymore. Those things are fancy. You know. So you I have just have it... lots of friends. We we know lots of people. So whoa. Of people. You hear that, folks? Who wants to take <laughs> your snowmobiling? Who wants to take your snowmobiling? I'll bring Follow. the schnapps. I'll bring the schnapps. I have I have extra thermoses. Uh, um, I, I'll bring a real positive attitude, whether we're catching fish or not. In you fact, know, I, I, I kind of prefer not to catch any. I, I don't like cleaning them anymore. <laughs> we'll probably have people for that, too, right? We, we know everybody here at Thrasher. Um, so awesome. So Mary's hilarious. I can't wait for your show. Um, did you know you're going to be our first female comedian headliner here at Thrasher? No, I'll give you a whole string of them. There's so many funny ones. There's so many funny ones from Wisconsin that are 
just amazing and doing great things. And and uh, I'm like, I feel like Wisconsin and Minnesota have so much comedy talent that I, I keep hearing, oh, did you know so and so's from Wisconsin? Did you know so and so? I'm like, what? <laughs> and I always, those are always people I'm fans of already. So it's really exciting to, to I'm I'm honored to be the first. Oh, we're we're so glad. And it's about time. This Thrasher's celebrating its 25th anniversary this year. So like why did it take 25 years to do this? I don't know, but it's happening now and it sounds like we can do more of it. So that's great. <laughs> oh yeah, lots more. Hey, um, what is the history of this opera house? Cause I mean, I, I I'm you know, I do know like there's a guy named Greg what's it uh, Gregor he just did uh Larry Mueller's show on WPR about um history of Wisconsin theaters and I'm oh. trying to think his last name is Gregor but we gotta get is do you guys go way back with your theater is this like um, a like 1910 is that that's whoa crazy. that's great that's great yeah. so we gotta get you guys uh we gotta get him to visit you because if he's doing interviews on WPR and, um, you know, a- a- advertising these theaters and giving the history. I love uh, it. Maybe we can make a video while I'm there and do a little tour. And, and you know, what's the interesting thing about a lot of Wisconsin theaters is a lot of brothel work went into it. It's what I'm learning. Well, I, I'm not aware of any I mean, no pressure. Rasher, but I mean, I guess we could always start. No, I'm not just kidding. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you I I I bring no skills to the table not much oh my uh, God. no we so Thrasher Opera House was started by Charlie Thrasher that's where okay. the name comes from so like people okay. think like Thrasher like rah. no we don't yeah. do that necessarily and we don't do any opera so the name is kind of misleading <laughs> yeah <laughs> we do yeah. everything in between we do obviously we do comedy bluegrass blues jazz classical like everything yeah. except for heavy metal and opera and no um no uh brothel work no brothel thus work. far, <laughs> Today, so far. <laughs> but i'm gonna look in the history books i'm going to your archives i'm gonna look in the history books and see because i'm sure it was a lumber town like the rest of northern wisconsin and apparently that was one of the hot, one of the hot careers in go. in in a, in lumber towns. In so small towns, Wisconsin. There you go. Yeah. Have it. Um, yeah. Are you originally from Wisconsin or Minnesota? You know, I'm I'm a hybrid. I was my first five years of life was in Minnesota because uh, my parents are from Duluth, and then they they moved down about forty five minutes south of Superior. Uh, between, well, it'd be east of Danbury, Wisconsin, just a little Web Lake area. So Webster's you're... the school district. And yeah, so that's where I grew up. And then I went to school in Oshkosh, taught, taught a year of Catholic school band in Oshkosh <laughs> oh, wait, band. and music. Do you play an instrument? Oh, I too. This is my joke. My famous joke is I have two degrees in clarinet. That's why I do comedy. Uh, <laughs> and I'm the only one in my family I'm the first one and as far as I know only one to have gone to college and I could have helped so many people I I could have been a lawyer I could have been like gone into like criminal doctor you know people were probably excited like oh my gosh she's gonna she could help us out. What did what did I choose? That's it. That's what I chose. Nobody's getting any help from me. Well, I mean, my career is surrounded by and and I have my career because of musicians. So I feel like there there's a yeah. lot of value to people who play music, do music, support music in any way. Speaking of which, you know somebody that we are about to know. Charlie oh, yeah. Parker. Oh yeah, I love Charlie Parr. He is going to be here. He's such a great Friday. player. He's going to oh, be here really? this Friday, and so I get to meet him oh. for the first time. And I just saw that you were in a podcast with him like earlier this oh, year. Oh yeah, Charlie um, Parr and I early on always used to show up at the same shows or the same venue. Like I would get done doing a comedy thing, and then he'd be on stage. <laughs> so I was like, how I, did you guys become pals? I I didn't quite see it, but okay, that makes sense. 
and just by sp- having spent a lot of time in Duluth, it, it, where mm-hmm. he was right. stationed for so for so long. Um, but I once wrote an essay because we'd always show up at the same spot. I once wrote an essay that I I was not stalking Charlie Parr. So I basically I said Charlie Parr is stalking me, <laughs> and I I basically um, and then I wrote another fun thing about I used to write. It was two pieces of fan fiction, basically, about Charlie Parr. <laughs> what a small world. Like, you're, he will be here, and then yeah. we have a children's people, theater thing, and then then you will be here. It's just People got to go see him. People got to go see him. And if, and, you're, if you're going to plug him, like, what would you say? Why why go see Charlie Parr? Oh, gosh. All, all, all the good blues of the, of the places hard to reach embodied in one person you can see right here <laughs> in your very own town it and um so it just like the the finger the picking on the guitar and um um his it's just really awesome music and meaningful meaningful music as well awesome. so i i you're a better person if you go see charlie parr oh i like that <laughs> i feel that a lot when you come to a show any type of show um where you go in and then you leave the show and you feel like a better person because you probably yeah. are. Live performance in yeah. any way is it just enhances your life. So and and it does. too, which is you know in the middle of winter when we're all like kind of blue, kind of down. Oh yeah, need a good comedy show, and that's why we're so excited yeah. to bring you here. So see, can I tell you something? Yes. People are a better person after they come see me. Not necessarily because I make them better, but because they see my act and they're like, oh, I guess we don't have it so bad. And they feel better. <laughs> You'll feel better regardless. It's good to laugh. We're so looking forward to it. Um, if you're looking for tickets to Mary Mac on January 28th, you can get them at thrasheroperahouse.com. Um, please come down and see us. Uh, we're excited to have you for the first time. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. And I can't wait to add ice fishing to my rider. And it's got to be crappies or I'm not coming. (laughs) You heard it, folks. You've got the hookup for us. It's got to be crappies or she's not coming. Not going to show. Okay, Rachel. Thank you so much. Take care. See you soon.